Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Roster PC Tech bringing you a quick tutorial on how to overclock your GPU. If you are on any NVIDIA based GPUs, this tutorial will work for you. So, first, I'll take a look at the fan controller. You can leave this set to automatic or you can set it manual. Me personally, I like to set mine to manual and I'm going to be adjusting mine to about 60% just to keep my GPU running nice and cool when I'm overclocking it. But, quick note increasing your fan speed will increase noise in your system so just keep that in mind and for the power target I usually set this to about 110 I usually max it out this eliminate any problems that we might run into down the line when overclocking that GPU because anytime you overclock your GPU you will draw more power so set that to 110 and for the GPU clock speed um, I recommend increasing these about 50 megahertz at a time but since I already know my max overclock, I'm going to go ahead and set it at 117. So once you set that, just go to any um, GPU stress test you might um, have. Me, personally, I use Firmark because it stresses your GPU to the absolute limit. So make sure you hit apply, hit the stress test button, and you might get a little pop-up. This is the warning that, you know, overclocking graphics card could be, uh, you, you are taking a risk. But as long as you overclock and safe, um, I don't think you should run into too many problems. Now, once you open Firmark, if you take a look at the top of the screen, you're going to see your, all your card information. Mine, I got GTX 980 Ti. It's going to show you your temperatures. It's going to show you clock speeds and all that good stuff. So once you're done with that, you just want to keep on repeating these steps until you run into any instability. Um, you will see like artifacts in the screen or you might see your computer might randomly crash. Once you get to that point, you know you, you took your overclock too far. You can just start backing up about 5 megahertz at a time till you get to a stable clock speed. Once you find your stable clock speed and you start on the memory, I recommend increasing these to about 50 megahertz at a time and keep on repeating till you come till you hit your limit to your graphics card become unstable and um, start backing up until you find your sweet spot. So how does overclocking your GPU actually performs in gameplay? Well, I took the liberty of running Tomb Raider. On stock speeds, I received a frame rate of 147 frames per second. When I overclock my GPU, I received the average frame rate of 162 frames per second. So that's free raw performance, guys, just by overclocking your GPU. So yes, I highly recommend overclocking your GPU. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're not subbed to my channel, feel free to hit that sub button, and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.